Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. And for today's we're going to be talking about the Futures Game Show's um, live stream that just happened, like at least literally right now when I'm recording this. And we're going to talk about the Jurassic World Evolution stuff that has so far been confirmed. Now, so far I think all this is all we're getting, but if there is more stuff I'll cover it in a future video. But today we got our first species profile, though it's not called a species profile. So yes, those are technically returning, but they're being titled as something else. I can't remember what it said. I'd ha I'll have to find it. It's probably stated on the screen right now. And it's for the Triceratops, which I'm pretty sure was the first one shown for Dress World Evolution 1. I could be wrong on that, but I know it was one of the early ones. And it shows us some um, quite a few different versions of them. Like, they all seem to have the Jurassic World version of the body, so not like the Jurassic Park versions like we got with the Return to Jurassic Park DLC. Except we also have um, different skins, which I mentioned in um, one of my earlier videos, which I think it was the previous one where I talked about the Paleo Accuracy Theory. Which, we didn't see a paleo accurate Triceratops in this, which maybe they don't want to reveal that yet, but it's very likely still, so we're still on that theory. Now, there isn't too much to go over, it discussed some, some things about the Triceratops, but shows us some differences between it and the Evolution version, including its dominance fight, which is a little different, they're very similar still, and I wonder what they're going to be... Um, showing us for the future, like, what other dinosaur prof I was hoping for something more, guys, like, maybe a Mosasaur species profile, because the main excitement that was given to us by the trailer was the, um, Mosasaurus, and also it coming out later this year, and I think people would have really liked to see it. Now, I'm gonna... Go back to the stream and rewind it to the Jurassic World Evolution portion. Okay, so it's called Species Field Guide. I apologize for that. And it starts off with us actually getting to see, um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, it shows us all three types of dinosaur groups or prehistoric groups. It shows us air, land, and marine, which is confirming all of them. With air be showing a Pteranodon, marine a Mosasaurus, and land being the t-rex and it starts with us clicking onto this which this looks really good and it shows us the triceratops and even how to say it properly for those who somehow don't know and it shows us these gray silvery ones which they look really nice with some of them lying down walking about and we got our first different skin which looks like a um which is a green one which this is the one that was actually in the one of the two images of the Triceratops that I um, probably have shown you guys, or you've probably seen. And it's drinking and looking up. Other Triceratops wandering about in the corner. Mm, one's taking a nap by the fence. Oh yeah, so you see the fight display for it, and it shows it um, thrashing its head around, sort of like... Um, when they're trying to push away predators. So it's not just the roar at them and then run away. They're thrashing their heads around and continuously roaring. And that's it. Then it shows the logo and then it's done. So not too much to show, but it gives us some little facts about it. And I'll, maybe I'll share this um, little field guide thing for you guys on my Twitter and Instagram, but that's it, guys. That is all we have so far. If there's anything else, we'll cover it in another video. But if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye The Triceratops is one of the most recognizable herbivores to ever have existed. It is best known for its trio of facial horns. 
These adornments are not just for display purposes. The brow horns in particular can inflict considerable damage to any dinosaur that dares to provoke it. 